New details uh, from court this morning after the arraignment of the suspected Davis stabber. Let's get to KCR3's Leticia Ordaz, who just left the courtroom moments ago. And Leticia, what have you learned? Mike and Brandy, good morning. It was a very short arraignment. In fact, it only lasted five minutes. And Dominguez did not say a word, but through his attorney, he pleaded not guilty to all of the charges, including enhancements. And prosecutors made clear in this case that they will not be seeking the death penalty. Take a look at Dominguez here in the courtroom this morning. He waived his right to a speedy trial, and you can see him in his striped jumpsuit. By law, the trial usually has to take place within 60 days of the arraignment. The Former UC Davis college student is accused of stabbing and killing two men and the attempted murder of a woman, all within a five day time span here back in the spring. Prosecutors say these were all premeditated crimes. The stabbing spree created a lot of fear in the city of Davis as police searched for the killer for days, which investigators now say they determined was Dominguez. The public defender has argued that the former UC Davis college student was dealing with issues from schizophrenia and he is not eligible for bail at this point. He's expected to be back in the court on June 18th, and that is when the lawyers and the judge will finally come up with a date for the actual trial. For now, reporting live in Woodland, Leticia Ordaz, KCL Ray 3 News.